happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Hey. Out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbird. Today we're going to have a little fun with a novelty radio I picked up. This is called the Disc Radio, made by Sonnet. I've heard of Sonnet, I think it's kind of a generic label, but I was shopping on eBay looking for some unique items to showcase on this channel, and I thought, hmm, this one looks pretty cool. What is it? And I found out it's a radio built into a CD-ROM jewel case. So we'll get started. Uh, dimensions. Uh, we have a little longer, and the size is five and one and a half inches. We have a height of five inches, and then we have a depth of a half inch. So slightly thicker than a normal jewel case, but looks like a jewel case nonetheless. Maybe you call it your stealth radio. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Having fun with this. Uh, I purchased it for 15 bucks. It's probably way too much. You'd probably find this at a resale shop for like $2 on the shelf. Um, and I hope it works. So, but yeah, I bought it just for the review and have some fun and, and let people know that this exists out there and that they're radio collectors. Maybe they want this sitting on their shelf. So, um, so we're looking at it. We can see it's a disc radio on the front. And you can actually change this art out with its tick standard CD art. So you can put like your Pink Floyd or, you know, your uh, Metallica, whatever you're into, uh, Beethoven, you know, uh, cover and stick it in there and disguise it. And nobody will ever know it's a radio. Uh, in here is a battery compartment containing two AAA batteries. I would show you them, but it's fiddly. It's not fun to play with. So got them in there, left that shut. I'm not going to take them apart real soon. Uh, on the bottom or right side, I guess. I will call it bottom. Um, this is a tuning knob. And on the side, nothing. On the top side, we have a volume control and a headphone jack. So when you have the headphones in, you can actually close this and listen to the radio like this. And... You can tune and volume without even having to open it up. I thought that was pretty nifty, but you have to open it up to turn it on and off. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a look and see what we can see inside. There it is. So we have the radio. So as you can see, we got the name brand. We have a speaker. We have a clock, which you can set. And there's a mode. And I believe the mode lets you set, uh, show this shows the date. Um, so you have to get like a little, a little like tool to push in there and get it to show the date. Let's see if I can do it. There it is. Did you see that? Oh, there we go. It's flashing. That'll drive you nuts. So I'll turn that off. Now we're in a setting mode. Okay. So that's how that works. Pretty basic. The clock runs off the AAA batteries, the main batteries, which is really nice because I thought for sure it was going to run on like a watch cell or something, but it does not. So another handy feature. Uh, headphone jack I showed you earlier, volume control, a min-max thing. Uh, we have our on-off switch, band select, and then our tuning dial. And you can see it starts 88 to 108 on the FM and 540 to 1600 on the AM band. And then down here it says UK registration numbers, and then it says in this little thing, compact disc, digital audio. I thought that was pretty cool. Then you get instructions on the inside here. Pretty basic, uh, what I just told you. So let's turn it on and hear the magic of a CD radio. All right, on. It works. Now bear with me as I try to tune this thing. It's real difficult. So some of these stations are carrying over, but actually the 780 lines up pretty good. Dalton, 
there's an accident with injury. Credit or not credit or uh, just think about how our lives have been impacted in a negative way just from a commercial. So it stands. Just from a commercial. We'll explain that next. 720 WGN. Last word on the last Bears game. We're harmless as he counts. The final note I took was Bears. So yeah. Um, AM, you get about mm, four or five stations, probably a little bit more in the evening. Um, this is, like I said, this is a novelty. This is just for fun. I didn't expect much, and I'm not getting much, but it's still okay. Uh, FM, if I'm in a good location, I can pick up a few more stations, but I think right here we're going to pick up like just two. There is an internal antenna. I thought maybe hooking up headphones would increase its range and sensitivity. It, it does not. But we'll go ahead and put the FM here. And we'll see if we hear anything. Let's turn the bottom. Sensitive to touch. It's like I hold it and the station comes in. <laughs> Headphones work, by the way. <laughs> Thought I wouldn't be using them. My classical music can barely hear. Okay, there's a strong station coming up here. You can rock out now with your CD radio here. It's awesome. Got tease of stations in. Okay, so you get the idea. You get like a few on the FM band. That's about it. Um, yeah, so this this is pretty cool. I actually really like this. Um, where else are you going to find a radio in a CD case? Uh, it's just, yeah. If you see this radio and it's like five bucks or six bucks, I mean, I don't see spending more than 10. I mean, like I said, I paid 15 and I think I paid too much for it, but... It's kind of one of those things where you can display it, you know, you can put your own art in there and you can, you know, you can just open this up and have this on the shelf as like a conversation piece. Like, hey, check out my CD-ROM radio, you know. And people will be like, what the hell? So, yeah, I think that the fun factor is, that people, you know, it's kind of a conversation starter. Um, but as far as a performer, no, it does not perform well, except on that AM band, actually. You're able to get like four or five decent stations. Some tree, you know, somewhere blending with each other, but uh, otherwise you could hear them. Listen to some sports radio on it if you wanted to. Uh, hey, and it has a clock. Don't forget, you can tell what time it is. So, yeah, um, I had fun making this video, and I have fun looking for these uh, novelty radios, and it's just a joy. Um, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, uh, visit my Patreon link there down below. Uh, we have some really cool reward tiers, giveaways. Uh, you'll find very interesting and plus it, we're trying to build a community there too where i'm actually taking radios apart and taking pictures and trying to do some detailed look inside the radios and putting that information up for my patrons so they can you know enjoy some of the extra content well thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon